Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to hell, in all due likelihood. This is RimWorld, a survival RTS of the crueler and more unusual sorts. Because Oxygen not included just wasn't sadistic enough. This game, well, if you have any idea what Dwarf Fortress is, this is kind of that except with graphics. Which is neat. The little artist working on Dwarf Fortress is of course working on a version with graphics, which I am very much looking forward to. But until that is done, this is about our closest equivalent. I've started a scenario here based upon the um, Lone Explorer, but I recorded some episodes just with Arch here alone, and after like three hours of recording I had like... A hut, so it was a bit slow. So we are joined instead by my cat slave, Mittens. Uh, she's a cook, which is something I'll need because uh, poor little Arch here is not very good at cooking himself, but he's decent at shooting and he can hit things over the head, so. We are going to claim this wonderful little planet in the name of the God Emperor for what other possible use would there be of a planet? Right. We are starting out in a boreal forest in the mountains because, well, that's where I live in real life, so it seemed fitting. <laughs> we are playing on rough difficulty level with the random storyteller, and we're playing on Iron Man mode, so this should be interesting. I'm playing on the larger map mode because I like having a little bit of uh, ground to sprawl around on. We've got a lot of caves here, which is interesting. That means monster insects, which is... Not great, but we'll deal with that when we have to. Um, <laughs> that's a big cave system. That's probably going to get infested real quick. Ooh. New concrete walls. That probably contains something nasty in all your likelihood. Like ancient murdering killer robots and so on. A mega Wolverine. How adorable. I have a lot of mods installed. I... I, I hardly know half of them, but uh, that'll be a fun part of the exploration. Right, so where do we start our first base? Well, we started literally in a swamp, which is not necessarily ideal. Let's just pick up some of our equipment here first. War, eh? Yeah, yes, that is the uh, the Rebel Alliance on the Galactic Empire. So there's a Star Wars mod in there somewhere, <laughs> which is... Nice to know, I suppose. Oh, and of course, Clementine, my Norwegian forest cat. Because the moment I saw that there was the possibility of taking a Norwegian forest cat, well, any possibility of me not taking a Norwegian forest cat had, of course, disappeared entirely. Right, but for starting area, this looks pretty good. Like, this is in a little bit of a choke point here. We've got uh, two steam geysers, which is great. Uh, no fertile soil, just regular fertility, but eh, I'll do. We have steam guys out there as well. Ooh, and one there down too. Ooh, that's a lot, actually. That might even be possible to wall off. Hmm. Interesting. A mega sloth. That's a, a bit nasty, but not too bad. What the hell is that? Otters. Okay. Well, I, I guess otters are a thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Moose. Moose. Mooses are adorable creatures. Nature's diplomats, yes. Their diplomacy includes... Their diplomacy is primarily based on the theory that um, warfare is a continuation of diplomacy by other means. Extraordinarily hostile little bastards, but hey, details. Right. So, if we're going to be moving up there, um, which seems reasonable, because... I mean, th this could be a decent area. Ooh, fertile earth. Ooh, that's tempting, because I could kind of wall that off and this off and... Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, no, maybe maybe in the future. We're going to head up here first. So, to begin with, we are going to create ourselves just a some basic hovels, shall we? Because I need a place to live, first and foremost. What's this? Is this anything? No, it's just basic stuff. Uh, we shall not build atop the steam vent. I did that once, and it ended up uh, quite literally steam cooking all of my dudes, which is less than ideal for some mystifistical reason, apparently. So, um, actually, well, first, let us start with some furniture. So we got two dudes, so we're going to need a couple of beds. And I think the golden rule was two spaces of... Yep, so... Uh, uh, one, two. One, uh. Uh, like that. 
And I am also going to build a um, a guest chamber. Yes, a guest chamber. Uh, in case somebody arrives that we wish to uh, conscript into our colony. Whether voluntarily or by force, that does not really matter in the end. All that matters is that they become, at some point in the not too distant future, a brand new slave for my colony. That is the important part, and that is the part that we shall strive to make a reality. And a nice big little storage area. So this will be a stockpile zone, so this will be where we keep all of our stuff. And of course a few doors might not be a terrible idea either. There. Not necessarily the most artistic structure in history, but uh, it'll work for now. Right, so Arch, will you start by hauling those components over, would you? That'd be rather useful. Mittens has grabbed herself run lunch and is bringing that over too. Very good, Mittens. Need colonist bed. I am aware, game. I am aware. It's just, uh, it's, it's a bit early to start whinging at me over beds, I'm afraid. I do need cover, however, relatively... Where the hell are you? Mittens. No. This is this is a much, much swifter path, Mittens. Oh, okay. Right. My dudes apparently really, really, really don't want to walk through the water for whatever reasons. I mean, ancient danger. Oh, stranger danger from the ruins. Right, well... I shall bear that in mind. I shall bear that most most significantly in mind. Right. Well, I, I get that they don't want to walk through the water, but I'm kind of going to force them to do that here because it is way bloody quicker. And whilst Archie is busying himself starting the building process, I am going to need to chop down some more trees since I'm pretty damn sure I have not brought along in anywhere near enough um, wood for all of this. The longest possible path, it seems. Yeah, Mitten can chop down some stuff. Uh, he's bringing wood. Well, at least he's bringing it from, you know, the relatively speaking shorter direction. So I guess I can't winch too much about that. So, if you do not know what fresh hell this indeed is, um, then, as I mentioned, a uh, bit like... Dwarf Fortress, but if you have no idea what Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress is, then, well, that comparison is probably not going to help you over much. So let me try and explain it in a slightly uh, better fashion. You are stranded on a world. Uh, that world is, of course, the uh, Rim world from which the game draws its name, and your ultimate objective will be to escape this Rim world. Um, you can do this by literally building a spaceship at some point, or by finding an intact spaceship as well, I believe. Unfortunately, that is not quite as easy as it uh, as it may sound. There are many other factions on this rim world that uh, don't take too kindly to them to them their goddamn strangers intruding upon their lovely planet. And you are going to have to fight them off. You can trade with the local population, you can fight with the local population. And of course the local population will also be engaged in murdering one another. In this case, uh, an otter being most... Pull all of it, you little... <sighs> Dumb mittens. Uh, engaged in the business of murdering a rabbit, for it is a hungry otter. Absolute longest possible goddamn way. It doesn't even allow him to avoid the water. Is he going to go back the same way too? He is. Right, okay. Arch, you're a bit of a moron apparently, but oh well. That's not, not the worst thing that could ever happen. There's of course a wide variety of mechanics as well that determine how you live on this world. You need... Food, shelter, heat, all of these things. It's got four seasons. I believe I've started... Um, well, since there's no snow on the ground, I haven't started in the middle of winter, which is in and of itself quite neat. But I am going to need some shelter up and running relatively quickly, and it doesn't help that Archer's apparently decided to do some stargazing. Well, I mean, I'm sure that's a wonderful hobby and all, but... This does not appear to be the time to indulge in it. Not you either, Mittens. 
One of the key uh, key problems I'm currently facing is that anything that is left outside will start degrading. It has a little hit point bar, and if that hit point bar bar is allowed to fully um, deplenish, then the item will be considered uh, destroyed and it will disappear. Which is not great, because uh, a lot of the stuff I brought with me when I spawned, uh, that's the kind of stuff that I kind of really badly need. So, I don't want to see that destroyed, if at all possible. Stuff like the components, those, those are kind of valuable, so I want to make sure those are kept as safe as possible. Which probably means I'm going to have to work my two poor little uh, survivors here through the night. They will not appreciate me for this, but not like they have a goddamn choice in the matter, for I, at the end of the day, am the god of this particular universe, and I say, work peasants, work. Right, we're going to follow the same general idea of oxygen not included, so where nothing of particular interest is occurring, I will cut away until something has actually happened or is happening. So, allow me to rejoin you once my hut is looking a little bit more uh, livable. There we are. Now it's starting to uh, at least resemble something. I am going to need a doorway here as well. Now, of course, this is not all we need. No, not in the slightest. Uh, we're going to need a butcher's table to uh, turn animals into delicious, delicious meat. And we are also preferably going to need somewhere to turn that delicious, delicious meat into something slightly more cooked. Because eating raw meat, I have been told, is not great in the long term. Uh, no, not really. It leads to various minor issues like infection and death and stuff like that. Which is things best avoided. It did mean that we had to pretty much walk through the night, but... Uh, Mittens, who was a little bit more insistent about the whole falling asleep thing, uh, has managed to get rested up a little bit before Arch, which is fair enough. Also, we need some recreation, so joy. Where, where do we, we... there we go, recreation. A horseshoe pin. Ah, yes, the, the ultimate in family home entertainment, absolutely. Nothing, nothing quite pulls a, ca a camely, a family together, like tossing oddly shaped pieces of metal at a piece of wood. I mean, hell, it, it was standard entertainment when I was a kid, and uh, I don't see any reason why today's youth should enjoy anything more fun than what I had to play with, so I believe this is entirely fair and balanced. That otter wandering around my house is making me a little bit nervous. I've seen it molest multiple animals to death now, and uh, I do have Clementine wandering around happy and innocent. Right, she is going for a walk. In fact, you know, in the name of self-defense, murder that creature. There you go. This is the idea of proactive self-defense. Well, you don't wait for the enemy to actually, you know, uh, violate you before you uh, you self-defend yourself. It's it's a bit of an advanced concept, I will admit. It's not in public use just yet, but I have faith that it will eventually become a part of the uh, the EU charter. And well, considering the way the EU is going these days, that might not be a joke. Right, let's chop down all of these trees because, well, it's resources and it's something for Clementine to do. Whilst Arch apparently goes for a walk. No, 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 Arch. You have, um, you have things to do. In fact, where the hell is that? There it is. There. If you want recreation so bad, make yourself a horseshoe thing and then finish up the last bed for our eventual, uh, guest. Yes? Now look, look how much fun he's having. He's loving the horseshoes. It's, it's paradise to him, practically. Right, so... How do we, uh, there, build a roof. Yes, some roofs. A bit of roof would be nice. I can't, I can't deny. That would be kind of nice. It also means that we... God damn it, Arch, you lazy son of a bitch. I mean, you, you slept just a little while ago. Build roofs, damn you. Yeah. I swear, good, good help is so hard to find. A cargo board... Camel hide. 114 pieces of camel hide. 
Right, mittens, uh, go fetch some of that, would you? Thank you. In the meantime, I'm going to continue to build a goddamn roof. Because that's kind of necessary. There we are. I also need a roof down here, since I don't think that any of these things um, currently count as being under a roof. This priority system is a, is a hint infuriating, I will admit, but I think I've covered... I think I've covered things up now. Fantastic. Right, glorious. Now, the reason why the camel hide was so important was because, of course, the most important uh, group in my colony uh, doesn't have a bed yet, which is an absolute travesty. We need to create a camel hide bed for Clementine, because, well, of course we do. I mean, duh. Uh, we shall also throw in a little bit of basic... Um, a couple basic niceties here, just to make it a hint more comfortable for our uh, civilians. There we go, that'll be nice. Uh, yes, lovely. Fantastic. In fact, let me... Because I'll have a prisoner in there eventually. Uh, let me just have a prisoner and a little stool there so we can eat off that. Right. That's not too bad. Uh, we're cutting into our food quite quickly, of course. Oh, I've doubled up on the, the uniforms. Right, okay, I'm just going to let those rot because I didn't intend to bring those along. So they get to rot. The steel doesn't mind if it lays out in the water and the silver too. That just, just, just doesn't, doesn't give a shit. It's not like it's going to rot away, you know. Right. That seems to have finished the construction of that. Uh, do concentrate on the lighting first, dear Arch. You will find it considerably easier to uh, hammer together some chairs and stuff if you can actually see what you're doing. At least that seems like a reasonable conclusion to make. This isn't too bad. Look, this is, this is nice. We've got some light. We've got some interior decorating going on. I'm hammering together a chair, which apparently takes quite some time, apparently. I was saving that rat for later, you sadistic monster, but okay, well, fine. I am worried if- oh my god, there's an entire army of flesh-eating otters outside my door. <laughs> uh, hum. Right, it, okay, ha I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Then I'm going to need to do something here. Kitten. There you go. Kitten. Uh, kitten shall stay here. Clementine, you stay inside. Kitten? Kitten, why did you immediately leave the area you were supposed to be bound inside? Oh, there you go. Kitten finally got the telepathic message. Good for Kitten. Ah, I'm just, I'm worried about the idea of leaving Kitten to roam the wilds with all of these apparently flesh-molesting otters just wandering around. Um, speaking of, it's frozen, isn't it? Yes, it is. Fresh and frozen. Do you think what I'm thinking? I'm thinking genocide. Alright, well, this isn't a genocide, this is an otter side, which is, well, very different. I'm not even, I'm not even making a joke. Killing people and otters are two different things. I, I will have you believe that to be the God's honest truth. There you go. Anyone else? There you go. I need to put this otter out of its misery. There you are. <laughs> and suddenly, I've got all kinds of feud for the future. <laughs> you may argue that that was ever so slightly cruel and unusual, but I would argue that otters probably taste pretty good. And that's a nice little bet. I also was running kind of kind of short on food, so you know that's another thing. Um, butch you one of the otters, would you, mittens? Be a deer and slaughter that animal for me. Good girl. Yeah. Motherfucker! Did that squirrel just eat? I was wondering why I had so little food. <laughs> Absolute little shits. Yes, they're... Mother... 
Well, I mean... I suppose I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Damn little fucking rodents. I was wondering, well, have, do I really only have nine rations left? Yes, I do, because I've been feeding the local vermin population as well. Uh. Right. Well, on the bright side, I mean, I have solved that particular problem now. I have implemented the final solution, some might say, to the rats in the literal pantry problem. Uh, kitten is for, uh, mittens, mit mittens? No, Clementine, Clementine. Clementine gets to eat the food, that's fine. Well, they ate my food, I'm gonna turn them into food instead. There you go, it's the circle of life. <laughs> Literally, in this case. All right, so the next priority, I think, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna tunnel a little bit into the mountain and set up a research station. And I'm going to start researching uh, batteries. The game is telling me that I need defenses, and yes, yes I do. I absolutely do. I'd kind of love to wall this off, but honestly, that requires more wood right now than I'm entirely comfortable with spending, I think. Because, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, that, that is going to require a fair bit of wood. Um, actually, not there. i uh, put it there, there instead. I mean, again, this really does kind of feel like more wood than I really have the luxury of spending. But it would be really nice to just, you know block off that area, or at the very least force them to make their way through that area uh, using explosives, which is going to give me a lot more time to prepare. So I think we're going to slap in a couple here as well, and if they want to go around there, that's fine. That, that's, that's entirely fine by me. Excuse me? Hello, elk. All right, a male elk decided to uh, become my friend, apparently. Oh, what's this? Ah, yes, the naming of the faction. Right, well, the first is of the naming of the faction as a whole is pretty simple. Uh, the Imperium of Arch, obviously. And as for the settlement's name, Archingrad, yes, best place on planet. In this case, literal planet, not just asteroid. Okay, well, I don't know what no, but with the, I mean, hmm. I can't even train it to haul, it's just a fucking... It's just an elk who was like, Hi, let me eat your food. Yeah, I, I think that elk is is at a severe um, risk of being turned into food very, very quickly, if I'm to be entirely honest with you. All right, cook simple meal until we have ten. So, I am going to need the food pretty much immediately, so I'll put... I'll get mittens on that. Get ourselves up some nice... Huskies. What the fucking... <laughs> this is what happens when you have the random storyteller on. Uh, that's not a husky. Oh, those are huskies. Okay. Isis. That's a very unfortunate name. <laughs> that's a very unfortunate name there. Right, so three female huskies have decided to join me. Uh, Macy, Lexi, and Isis. Right. Right. I mean... Oh, hold on, Arch is processing. They can haul. I, I can train them to haul. I can train them to rescue. I could potentially also use them as to attack. I mean... Their ability to carry shit is pretty neat. Get... Do I have the ability to feed three more things? That, that's the question. Um... 
Well, that's actually a pretty good question. Do I have the ability to feed three more things? Oh, hello there, Elk. Um... Oh, I'm not assigned to handling, am I? Oh, well, that's, that's downright unfortunate. Okay, well, I think... I'm definitely not going to be able to feed... Motherfuck. I think it just ate and heal plant too, which is great. Right. Butcher that elk. That should give me a bunch more food. Ah, three more doggy mouths to feed, eh? Hmm. I mean, on the one hand, I really don't want to just kill them because they're huskies. They're adorable. I don't want to just murder and eat them. That's a bit of savage, in my opinion. Just a bit. Hmm. On the other hand, if they do not, if if they don't get in my belly, then they will eventually need to have their own bellies stuffed with something, uh, which which is genuinely a little bit of an issue for me. Ah, but the hauling, and it will also allow mittens to train animal taming in a safe environment, which would be really nice because that means I could tame further animals in the future. Um, I'm I'm sorry, Macy's. I, I'm very I apolo I apologize. I don't want to do this. It's it's a horrible thing to do. Oh God, I'm just gonna just hold on. I'm just gonna zoom over here for a second for no particular reason. <laughs> you done, mittens? Thank you. Okay. There. Uh, oh my, one of the huskies mysteriously disappeared. That's very lucky. That means I don't have to take the ethical decision as to whether or not to butcher one of them to allow the rest of us to live. How very fortunate indeed. Uh, don't look at me like that. Right. Yeah, I, I think I can. I think I can probably feed two of them, and the ability to train them is it, it really is quite valuable because it's given to give me a ton of XP, and it will eventually allow me to use them to haul stuff. So they'll be able to walk around and carry resources around my base, which is really handy. It's a little bit unfortunate that they're both female, because if there was one male, one female, I could potentially plan on increasing the number of huskies in the future uh, via basically breeding them. But, you know, this, this is good. This is pretty good for now. We've got a bunch of food. Honestly, more food than I can actually handle, which is a small issue as well. Um, can I... Can I lay floor... No. Ah. I uh, can support heavy. Aquarius turn down support heavy. Can I make something move gold tile up version tile smooth now? I was thinking of maybe making like a bridge here to speed up uh, construction work on this end, but I don't think that is possible. Alright. Now I'll keep it there for now. I'll keep it there for now just because there's no like super pressing reason to destroy it but what we're gonna do and prioritize is when we do a little cut into this mountain here and we're gonna make ourselves a research area round right about here methinks there you go that'll be good for now uh be a nice little cut and this will be a future hallway and we're gonna prioritize arch now on mining Oh, God. I, I don't know why this is made like this. I had to tilt my head to be like, okay, what am I looking for here? Um, mine. There we go. And then like that. Uh, mine. There. Now he will prioritize mining, which will be wonderful. I should actually finish up making the floorboards first, but that's fine. We need the research up and going so we can get batteries up and going, so we can start generating power. And once we've started generating power, we can start getting some security measures up, like automatic gun turrets and such things. Which are, of course, absolutely fantastic. There, Mittens is working on the training. That's going to use up a little bit of food as well, which is great because this food is... Honestly, I should have kept some of this food out in the cold, because 
um, it's gonna spoil in like a day or so. I don't think I'm gonna eat enough food to uh, prevent that from happening. Alright, so we've got some elks. Uh, they're not eating any valuables, right? No, it's just brambles. Nobody cares. That's uh, fine. They can numb all the brambles they want. It's not an issue. In fact... Oh, mittens is having himself a little numb there. Good mittens. Um, let me make a stockpile zone out here. And I'm going to store... Uh, just clear all and then foods. And then I'm going to go preferred, like so. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, normal, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to turn off food, but I'm going to turn on meals. So that way, yes, that will mean that she will store the food, uh, the, the meat outside, whilst the meals with a higher um, exp expiration date will be kept inside, and here they are frozen. Ha-ha! Arch is a brilliant little boy he is. Oh, yes, he is. No, none ever doubted him ever again. Because he figured out that food will spoil slower outside and fucking cold. <laughs> uh, what, what is that they say? Your definition on genius relies entirely upon where you put the bar? <laughs> uh... Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. We need to clear out these stone slabs because they're really, really ugly and it makes my people sad. And we do, we wouldn't want that, now would we? All right. And we need a production table. A nice little simple research bench right around... Uh, right in there, actually. That'd be good. Outdoors and bad temperature. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm working on it, though. Don't worry about it. Where's my, uh, furniture? God damn it. I keep forgetting where these things are again. Ah, there we go. A torch lamp. Right. Now, little arch, little arch, if you could uh, please fix up that door for me real quick. And also that. Go on. Finish that up and then you can go to bed. Now, this should now be, um, yes, as you can see, when I hover the mouse over it, ew, down in the corner there, you will see that there is an overhead mountain, uh, which means that this does uh, count as being indoors, even though it may not look like it, uh, that is indoors, so I should not have to worry about the speed penalty. Um, why am I... Arch, why don't you just use the wood we already have stored up instead of fetching, like, five wood at a time, you moron? Well, I mean, it's his sleeping time this is all cutting into, so... Good on him, I suppose. Motherfucker. Well, I guess that's the problem with storing your food outside in that animals will devour it, too. Okay, Omega Wolverine. You look dangerous, which makes me worried. Melee DPS, 7.8. That sounds bad. Um, health. I kind of want to try killing it, because it, it's, um, it's very close to my animals, which makes me worried. And I do... Alright, well... This is going to be quite an interesting little adventure. We're going to see if we can kill a Mega Wolverine. I mean, I gotta say, I'm not thrilled at the idea. But I, I'm pretty sure the Lasgun's a pretty decent weapon. And as long as I can kind of keep kiting it a little bit. Let's just draw it away from our... Would you go away from my dog, please? Would you fuck off? Would you? No? Motherfucker. Actually, you go up there. Actually, no, no, no. This this will fix it, right? I know you're not kittens. I am aware of this fact, but if you could please role play as kittens for a little bit and just stay in the kitten marked zone, that'd be fantastic. God damn it, you big fat fuck! Don't go back there. It's gonna make it real difficult to shoot you. Oh yes, don't me don't melee attack it. That seems like a terrible idea. There, the Mega Wolverine is angry with me.
There you go. See, that was that, was, that wasn't even that bad. Like, right, granted, bear in mind, since I decided to have a little bit of 40k theme on this, I have the 40k mod, obviously. Uh, the last guns are... I'm, I'm starting to think they might be a little bit too good. <laughs> After seeing that, I'm starting to think, hmm... May, maybe these weapons are, uh... They, they might be a bit much... But, well, I, I do have just two survivors, so I feel it fair to that I have a little bit of cool shit, okay? That was a lot of fur. Um, hmm. Speaking of fur, allow me to turn it into some fur nature. Ah. 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 I slay myself. Right, there you go. Two beds. That should make my two dogs very, very happy indeed, because now they get to get to sleep somewhere. Previously, the ability to sleep in something that wasn't literally the f law, I was about to say, was a privilege maintained only for Clementine, until she decided to sleep on a fucking chair. This, by the way, is emblematic of all cats. Anyone who's ever had one will know this problem. You buy a cat bed. It costs tons. It's... It's it's constructed from like goose feathers or something, or and with pieces of smoked salmon woven into the lining and shit. And your cat just looks at it and just sneers distastefully, and then walks off to sleep on a cupboard or something. Ah, oh, cats! They're such lovely creatures, but they are also absolute, unequivocally so cunts. Psychic drone, right? So Archer's going to be in a bit of a pissy mood in the immediate future, but... Oh. We can deal with such minor inconveniences. Mittens. Mittens is hauling. It's very important to get all of these... Mittens wooed Arch by subtly, subtly complimenting his eyes. Well, I've always been weak to cat people complimenting my eyes, so I guess that makes sense from a role-playing standpoint. Although this makes me a hint uncomfortable. No, more than a hint uncomfortable. And now the cat wishes to masturbate to... Oh, God, that's, that's terrible. See... This brings forth the mental image of my in-game character viciously banging a mitten. Not mittens, a literal mitten, as in a glove. And I can't seem to quite shake this mental image. I mean, that's just terrible. It, somebody owns that mitten. Somebody might put that mitten on by accident and have no idea why, why, why is it kind of sharp and crusty inside. And it'll just be the mystery for the ages. He'll continue wearing it for weeks, if not months, and he'll never know. Until somebody tells him, like, oh, yeah, sorry, dude. I, uh, I relieved myself in your glove. Yeah, that's terrible. That is genuinely a little bit horrifying, but... Oh, well. I am already on a planet filled with savage monstrosities, with freak lightning storms where the average temperature is minus three, so... I, I guess horrible is just part of the world. By the way, these torches heat things up real nice. 23 degrees inside from... He will shoot more accurately for the next eight days. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> okay, new lovers are arches inspired by this to shoot more accurately. Yes, yes, I, I know what you mean, buddy, but I don't even know if we can procreate. I don't know if it's physically possible for you to impregnate a mitten. But I mean, I, I try, I guess. I mean, it's, it's not like I won't benefit from it. I will have more slaves to work in the mines and the factories and the woodcutting fields, so... Yay, I guess. Oh, uh, 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 what 
what fresh fuckery is this? A Rabbi Moon Sailor. What? A Rabbi Moon? Oh, Rabbi, as in, ah, uh, Rabbi, ah, uh, yes. That's one of the furry creatures I introduced into the game because fluffy things are wonderful. For a moment there, I thought it was a rabbi from the moon who's also a sailor crash landed nearby. <laughs> Okay, Anna, her name is Anna, and she is not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue her and hope she joins freely, or capture her and break her spirit until she has nowhere to go but home. <laughs> and of course, we will be the ones defining home. All right. Hello there, little thing. Um, you have rabbit ears, which makes me immediately quite happy to see you. A uh, female freedom rabbit... Freedom Rabbit. Is this come on some kind of Sonic fur fan mod? I'm starting to wonder if I have by accident installed such a thing. Accident, he says. Believe me, please. Alright, well, we made a prisoner bed. Um, whole body flow of spice. Okay, so she's got an addiction. That's going to be a problem for you, honey, because I don't have much in the way of drugs. Uh, torso, gunshots, that's not good. Uh, scratch scar. All right. Well, I mean, these things are not great, but um, they're not dealer breakers. A bio, female freedom rabbit. All right, childhood rabbi no... Hi, moon runes. <laughs> I, uh, I like how the first word is in, you know, uh, Roman letters. Anna. And then it just goes like, Konnichiwa, watashiwa samurai desu. That's not what it says. It's it's Korean, but I don't speak Korean, so, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I am have a sneaking suspicion whoever made this um, was Korean. Incapable of none. That's nice. Physically deaf. All right. And a careful shooter. That's cool. Shooting four, milling one, mining three, artistic, um, <clears throat> okay, so she, <clears throat> excuse me. So, the little flame there, that means that this is an interest of hers. So that means she will learn that skill much faster than she would normally learn a skill. And having an artist is not at all a bad thing, because that will increase the decor of my settlement, making it prettier. And so, <clears throat> they'll uh, make everybody happier. She's also a medic six and an intellectual two. I'm yeah, I'm I'm way more intellectuals. That's not that useful. But a medic would be nice because the only medic I have is mittens, and Arch has zero in medicine. So yeah, uh, I guess what all of this means is congratulations, Anna. You have won a uh, prison cell. A cell? It's not. It's not a cell. It's. It's pretty nice, really, when you come to think of it. It's, it's got a bed, it's got a couple of torches, it's got a table. When, when you come to think of it, okay. <clears throat> when this rabbi fell from the sky, the odds are pretty good that she would have landed in a far worse place than this. I mean, there's even dogs here to nuzzle her and be like, Hi, we would like to be your friends. <clears throat> Planetarium. Hmm. Brain crystal. Right, she's been carrying some very interesting things, hasn't she? Uh, right, health, yeah, just herbal medicine or worse. Um, I'm not going to use any of my glitter world medicine on her. No, thank you. Um, mittens, is look, quality 44. Mittens is pretty damn good at tending anyway, so that's good. And uh, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps we should... Uh, perhaps we should, we should take away her light machine gun. Yeah, just, just an idea, but I don't think she needs that. And I think that would be fine. Um, reserved for prisoner? Yeah, it's fine. Take brain crystal. I don't even know what the fuck a brain crystal is, but I, I guess I'll find out. Does she snort it? Does she grind it into a pow powder and punch it into her arms? I don't bloody know, but, uh, well, we shall find out. Now, prisoner, we shall, of course, recruit her. Uh, difficulty 53. Three, and... Okay, resistance remaining. This was a new thing. I didn't know what this was to begin with, but this is the... Um, every time you uh, try to recruit them, you need to reduce their resistance first, and after that, 
then you start working on trying to actually recruit them, which is an RNG chance. So, I believe... Wardening. Yeah, I'll put that on two. Because Mittens has dick all social skills, as you have to remember. Yes, zero compared to Archer's mighty eight. Hmm. Archie is resplendent with social skills and will quickly uh, convince this rabbi to uh, join my glorious gang of... Rhinoceros Leather Rabbi Casual T-Shirt. Why not? Why the actual fuck not? Right, the training of the go of the uh, the gods, the dogs, is going around along super well. Uh, I've trained almost both of them to hold now, which is awesome. Um, I'm probably gonna have. I'm probably gonna increase their roaming radius. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. All right. And then I'm going to make a new zone. Manage area. New area. Doggos. And the doggos, they will be able to wander a little bit all over the place. So I'm going to use those to haul those slabs over to the dumping grounds. Now, they won't do it all the time. They'll only do it... I, I, I think there's some kind of, like, RNG chance um, that determines whether or not they decide to haul at any given time. But every time I've trained somebody to haul before, uh, it has been really useful, so hopefully that will uh, continue to be the case. And I'm basically going to let them just roam all over this place here. Because I'm probably going to need, you know, to haul stuff from all over this. Alright, there we go. That also probably has... Uh, uh, yeah, that's boosted her animal skills to 9, which is really good. I'm also going to train them to release and rescue as well, because why not? I'm, pr I'm not going to use them in combat, probably, because they're way too valuable to um, risk in combat, considering... I mean, a couple of huskies, I'm sure they can be vicious little fuckers when they want to, but against heavily armored bandits and so on, yeah, I think I'm probably just going to shoot them instead, to be honest. Now, another thing I'm going to have to start get going here is some, um, some growing areas, so I'm going to set up two growth zones immediately, like so. One is going to have potatoes and, uh... One is going to have Raishu, yes, because we have a visitor from Asia here, and I'm sure she'd, pre she'd prefer eating some Raishu, yes. And I also want a couple smaller ones. I think I want just, just a little patch for uh, cotton. Catnip plant. I don't even know what that does. I'm sure I'll find out at some point. Um, dandelions? That's, that, well, that's nice, I suppose. Um, cotton. There you go. Cotton. Right. Cotton. Right. That'll be the stuff that's really neat to get going right away, because, of course, that's... Elk meat is rotted away in storage. Oh, he's not frozen anymore? Eh. Uh, well, shit. Eh, uh, well, it's, it's not the worst thing ever. A little bit of, a little bit of loss was always to be... Expected, after all. Planetarium. Okay, I have no idea what all of that means. And I have no idea how to produce more planetarium. So, uh... I, I guess this little rabbit is gonna feel rather, um... Rather, rather bad at some point in the not-too-distant future. Hopefully, the fact that he is psychically deaf will prevent her from hearing her own loud screams as the drug withdrawal starts kicking in. Aren't I a kind soul uh, that hopes for the best for even his most lowly of prisoners? Yes. Yes, I am. Ah, great. Right, with the battery finished, we can start getting some power going. So, I've... I've got these things, which I can build eventually a, like, thermal power plant, but 
I don't have that kind of technology yet, so I'm just going to go for a few wind turbines. And I'm probably going to place them, like, where? Because I'm going to want growth huts in the future, probably around here. Um, I don't actually have that much space. I'm tempted to place them down here, honestly. But that does put them in a somewhat vulnerable position. Yeah. Um, one weakness of my starting, of my chosen starting position is that I'm not, like, super spoiled when it comes to space. It's a little bit cramped in here. A little bit cramped, but the two steam geysers will probably make up for a lot of that later on, so... I'm not exactly panicking just yet. But probably over here. So, in order to make that a little bit safer as well, I'm going to make a cut into the mountains here. Uh, where I'm going to store the batteries. And the batteries are... yeah, they're single cells. They're... how? They're... Th three? Are they three cells or are they two cells? I think no, they I think they're two cells. Okay. I'm gonna store them in the mountains in each their little battery cut, like so. Um, that means that even if the batteries were to overload and explode, it wouldn't be dealing a whole lot of damage to anything valuable. That's the primary reason why I'm doing that. And then, of course, I'm just going to run, like, a little line into my main base. So, we're going to have a, um... We're going to have a hallway that's going to run through it. That's going to be too wide. And we're just going to have this little power trench. That will also allow me, to, of course, to get up there if it needs repairing or anything like that. And we'll toss in a wooden door there. Ooh. Anna is no longer incapable of walking. Well, that must make her very, very happy indeed. Her planetarium stat keeps going down, which... A group from the White Maya kinship are visiting the colony, are they? A very kind of them. Hello. Uh, Engo, female warrior. So these look like savage barbarians. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's nice to know we have uh, friendly neighbors. Maybe I can even... This isn't a trade convoy. There are, like, full-on trade delegations. This does not appear to be one of those. But uh, there's a question mark there. So I think I'm going to send... Oh, they can trade a little bit. Okay. I'm going to send Arch out to have a quick little chat with uh, Engo then. Right, I can sell... I can sell them the... Plan no, I'm not going to do that. It seems like a bad idea. Um, pemmican guinea pig fur. <laughs> okay. A steel knife. I, I you know what? Uh, give me like five herb, herb. Oh yeah, four. That's fine. Four herbal medicine. It'll make them like me a little bit better. And you know, her herbal medicine is nice. It'll give you a little bit of a bonus to my treatment of prisoners. Uh, in, in the case I get some more visitors in the future, so... That, that's worth... that's worth it. Not like I spend a whole lot of money on that, after all. Speaking of, um, I think... I don't want to build too many structures outside, because I really want to move into the mountain, because the mountain is way safer. Oh, well. It's safer, but it can also be infested by giant murderous killer bugs, so... There is a little bit of a potential uh, drawback to it as well, just just a little one. But I want to have structures up so that I can um, that I can always accept new guests into my uh, my home and hearth, and uh, so that they can enjoy the richness of my culture and choose out of their own free will, of course, with no coercion on my side. Just occasional friendly banter, to stay and uh, enrich in our community. Because uh, in my current situation, Arch is 100% uh, pro-immigration. <laughs> because Arch needs people to work. Arch needs people to work for him. And so he's very happy with the immigrants. Arch is the, uh, Arch is the business manager now. He's the man who hires. And he is the man also who chooses what they get paid. And in such circumstances, well, you know, it's uh, it's not all that bad. 
Ah, oh, they're leaving already. Well, I guess they couldn't stay for long. All right, let's prioritize getting this up and running a little bit. Uh, we'll just go... Where's construction work? Construction. We'll just make that priority one for a little bit. Whilst Mittens is busy planting the taters and the rice. Yes, the rice will. Oh, right. I was wondering why they weren't hauling anything. And then I remember like, oh, shit. I haven't actually told them that they can leave the house yet. Right. Well, that was a slight oversight. But now they are free to leave. And they... Oh, there you go. That was a wonderful example. As you can see, he's going to go like zoom over there. Lovely. I'm going to ex need to expand this dumping stockpile as well quite severely. Speaking of, I'm also going to need a little hut over here. Um, right, so I need a sculptures table for uh, my little rabbit to produce sculptures in the future. So we're going to place that... We're going to place that here. And we also need a... Stone cutter's table. There you go. And we'll do a little torch lamp. And of course, we'll make sure that it's indoors so that she has a nice little environment to work in. There you go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, I'm such a good guy. I care so much for my slaves. It's... Why, why did we even abolish slavery in the first place? Hmm? If everybody treated their slaves as nicely as Arch does, it, nobody would have complained, okay? Everybody would have been happy with it. Okay, that might be taking you a bit far, but... <laughs> no, 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 this, this is the perfect... Yes, yes. This is the, uh, this is the Arch Warhammer pro-slavery argument. If everybody just treated their slaves as well as Arch treats his slaves, everything would be fine. <laughs> That's a, that's a good, that's a good quote. I like that quote. Because, uh, it has only a small, a small ability, um, or capability of being taken horrifyingly out of context. <laughs> oh, well. Um, Anna, are you starving to death by any chance? No, you've been fed recently, lovely. Uh, cargo pods. Jade. Okay, well, that's valuable, um, but it's not going to go anywhere, so I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'm just going to leave it right there for now. While Smittens continue, continues to chop down the entire forest. Good little Mittens. You are, a, you are a credit to your species of furry cat people. See, on the one hand, I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe I should have brought along a male cat person. Because then Arch wouldn't get the strange idea of trying to boink the cat person. On the other hand, this idea is immediately dismissed due to the simple fact that cat boys are de facto heresy. And therefore, having one was never really an option, let's be entirely honest here. Anywho, I will wrap up this episode here. I think we've got a fair bit of... Why the hell am I building floors outside there? I don't even know, but apparently I am. Oh well. I mean, it'll look real neat, I guess. Probably. Possibly. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. No, no, no. Ah, damn it. You know, what I should have done... Ah, yeah, the cold... Yeah. Yeah. I know there's a cold snap, and at first I was like, that's not a big deal. It's cold outside already. Then I realized, ah, yeah, but I am trying to plant things, so. Yep. Well, Mittens, I'm sorry, but all of your efforts to plant potatoes have probably been in complete not of vain, but fear not. Then it's always the next potato harvest. And with those words of infinite wisdom, I've been Arch. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to that you will continue watching my adventures in the Rimworlds. Until next time, have a good day.